Betsy Good, uh, Las Vegas artist, working artist, and gallerist, and curator, and nonprofit uh, uh, person. Um, have been in Las Vegas for now going on uh, 11, 12, 12 years, um, and was always challenged by lack of exhibition spaces and back to that somebody needs to somebody should somebody should and it's like well maybe you're that somebody and, um, and I definitely didn't want the Nancy Good Gallery I didn't want something that was just highlighting my work um, because again we have a community here of great artists um, we have a community that needs more arts and culture experiences and, and uh, places so for two years, I thought about what that would look like, and finally in 2018, opened this space. And, and it is very much needed. Um, culture and arts um, as a whole indicate the health of the community. And the less you have, the more unhealthy a community is. Uh, the more you have, just you know, by virtue of uh, multiple languages that interpret who we are. Um, I've all often thought that I wish we had more of an arts presence like LA or Chicago or New York, but one of the things that we have here, which also I love about Las Vegas, is we're not following the trends. I'm Michelle Graves. I'm, I'm a longtime artist. I um, love doing research. Um, a lot of my deeper artwork is based in a lot of research where I intersect science and existentialism. The work that's here is all brand new. It's called The Alchemy of Resistance. And I reached that point where I came into the residency, or Arts Concord residency, with the question of where does resistance exist? As an artist, it, I like to find some sort of conclusion in whatever, wherever I start that is not like a solid opinion, but another way of thinking about a certain issue or some, a, a topic that's presented. I'm a conceptual abstract artist, so I have my studio on site here, which allows me to actually facilitate a gallery space and a nonprofit space supporting local artists. It means that I can just be hands-on every single day. Knowing the value of a space like this, I have a new small retail space that I couldn't do upstairs in the old old gallery space. To me, Core Contemporary has been a place where um, there it's been a lot of opportunity so far. I had another exhibit that's traveling around the United States right now called American Roulette. It's based on. Um, a nonpartisan discussion on effects of gun violence in our communities. So it was, it was traveling around the United States and when I moved here I was like, who in Las Vegas would like to display this work? And Nancy immediately wrote back maybe an hour later um, saying she wanted to display the work. So I felt like I felt like Core Contemporary and her space and her welcoming as a new artist into the community was really important and um, very valuable and feel, like feeling welcome as a as an artist who used to be deeply rooted somewhere else. And then she uh, awarded me the opportunity to do the residency. So Court Contemporary to me as a new person in Las Vegas um, has been vital for getting my foot in the door, feeling welcomed, um, and just being able to continue being an artist. Um, a space like this is important for the community because uh, it, it gives, a, it gives uh, the community, an artist specifically, a platform to say what they need to say. And as far as like, being a, a staple in the community, it's a place for people to gather. It's a place for people to come and have a conversation and maybe they wouldn't, their lives wouldn't intersect normally outside of a space like this, but maybe there's a commonality in the theme of the artwork where they can come to a show like this. Well, being a new transplant to Las Vegas, um, and seeing New Orleans Square pretty early on, 
Um, it to me, it felt like there is a lot of potential. There's a lot of like empty storefronts, um, but already artist studios here, um, other spaces like um, sci-fi center upstairs. So a lot and like a horror a horror store next door, a really awesome bookstore to, a couple doors down. It's it, it it's kind of a space where it had it has the room to to have a legacy. You know, not everybody knows about New Orleans Square yet. And from my perspective as a newcomer here. Then it's kind of, in my mind, I'm like five years from now, it's going to be the New York hotspot. You know, that um, first Fridays over on Main Street is cool and fun. And and coming to a, uh, an opening here is is definitely more of a vibe that I'm interested in. Where you can look at the artwork, you can have a conversation. Fridays is always good to gather and like be social. And it's just different. It's a different vibe here. And, I, and I'm, I'm here to, um, I feel like it's, I'm, I want to promote this space. And core contemporary in general is a, has been my in. You know, I feel like it's Nancy's been such an amazing person, and, and just her personality in general is so welcoming that I I feel like there's a lot of room for myself to grow as an artist here in Las Vegas. Check the ego at the door. Uh, um, we're all trying to do something. Um, that matters and everybody matters and so it's like you know so you have a friend that wants to do exactly what I'm doing or I have a friend go for it it's not going to be something that's going to diminish what I have here we need more spaces period um, shine that light uh, you know build something that's going to um, help strengthen our community and, and a lot of people know I, I will hashtag it takes a village and that means the village can do more. So.